Today's project is inspired by the work of this artist, Romero Brito. I've included a link in the description for a great video about Romero Brito, but these are some examples of some sculptures that he's made. And notice that they are very bright and colorful and they have shapes and patterns in them. We're gonna take inspiration from that for our project today. For today's project, all you need is a paper, a pencil, and some crayons. Our first step is to draw a shape in the middle of our page. And as usual, I'm gonna be using a black marker so you can see, but you guys should use a pencil so you can erase things if you want. So the shape that I'm gonna draw is a heart, but you can draw any shape you want. You can draw a circle, square, a diamond, a triangle, any shape will look good for this project. But I'm gonna do a heart in the middle of my paper. And I'm drawing it nice and big, right in the middle of my paper. There's my heart. Next, I'm gonna make a background for my shape. So I'm gonna be making some lines that go from my heart to the corners or the edges of the paper. So I'm gonna put one here and I'm not gonna draw the line through the middle of the heart, but I'm gonna pick it up again at the bottom and they don't have to be perfectly straight. And I'm gonna draw one from here to this corner down here and one from here to that corner about the corner, it's not perfect, no big deal. One from here to that corner, and one from here to that corner. So, so far we have a shape on top of a background, and the background has some spaces. My background has six spaces, yours might have more or less. It's your art project. It can have as many spaces as you want. But what we're gonna do now is put a pattern in each of these spaces. And I'm gonna put a different pattern in each space. So I'm gonna start with some polka dots. I'm gonna draw a circle here and a circle here and a circle here. And what I like to do when I have polka dots is I like to make some half circles like this or this so that it looks like my pattern would continue if it was going over here. So I did some circles and some half circles to make polka dots for my first pattern. In this box, I think I'm gonna do some stripes and I'm gonna do some vertical stripes. That means my lines are gonna go down like this. And I'm making my stripes pretty wide because I know that I'm gonna color this and I don't want it to take a really long time. If you wanna make little thin stripes, it'll take longer to color. Over here, I think that I will do a zigzag line, like up and down. And I'll do another one like that. But the idea for this is that these patterns can be anything that you like. So you can do different shapes. If you don't wanna do circles, you can do squares, you can do triangles, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my spaces with different patterns and then We'll see what the next step is. Try to leave lots of space in between your lines and your patterns so that it's faster to color in the next step. The final step of this project is to color. And if you noticed in Romero Brito's artwork, he uses a lot of color, very bright colors. So since we're being inspired by his work, we want to do the same thing. We wanna pick bright colors and as many different colors as we can. So while I'm coloring this, you can always pause this video to color and take your time while coloring and make sure you color nice and dark so that the colors really stand out because that's what was true of Romero Brito's art. I sped up the video of me coloring and even still, it takes me a really long time to finish coloring this project. So make sure that you guys are pausing the video to take breaks, pause the video if you need to catch up because this project involves a lot of coloring and it kind of makes your hand hurt, but it's worth it in the end. It's gonna look very bright and colorful.
So once you finish coloring, and that was a lot of coloring, you want your colors to really pop out. So since your lines are in pencil, what you're gonna wanna do is your last step is to trace your pencil lines with the black crayon to make sure that everything really pops out and stands out. This last step is optional, but it really makes the colors pop out if you're able to do it. And there you have it. That's your finished Romero Brito inspired art. And I'm sure it looks amazing. Make sure you find someone that you can show your art off to. And we'll see you for another Fun Friday Art Project.